Hello, I'm Andrew Fryer, and in this demonstration, I'm going to start to configure the self service portal that's a solution accelerator for System Center Virtual Machine Manager 2008 R2. I've got the SSP portal up and running here, and before I can allow users to interact with it, I need to do some configuration work because I've just installed it. If we go over to settings here. One of the first things I want to do is to configure the data center resources I have available to me. I've started to set this up, and as you can see, I've defined where my VMM server is, in, in other words, the local machine here. I've picked out the two virtual network adapters I have. I've defined my domains in here. I've only got one, so that's fine. Interestingly here, you can see private cloud kind of style of computing coming into play as we can set cost for memory and storage. And down the bottom here, I've got an environment and I've called it production. An environment is much like development and test, so I've just stayed with that one. I think that's all I need to do, so I'm just going to save and close that. In order for users to be able to create virtual machines, we need to have virtual machine templates, blueprints that can be used for them to quickly get going. And that work is all done actually in System Center Virtual Machine Manager itself. And let's just dive over there and have a look at that now. And here I've got a couple of templates noted by this separate icon. Let's have a look at the basic server template. Going to its hardware configuration, we can see that it's got a couple of Xeon processors, two gigs of memory, and down here, the hard disk that I'm using is actually a sysprep copy of Windows Server 2008 R2. My network location is the internal network, so it'll pick up the domain controller. Priority is normal, and I can also specify availability. I can't make this highly available because I'm running it on my laptop and I've got no cluster. I can also define the operating system configuration and you can see I've got various settings here and I can actually have all of those standard settings set in profiles for hardware and guest operating system profiles. In a normal course of events I provision virtual machines from here based on these templates. But the self-service portal is going to allow users to do this for themselves. And in order for that to work, I now need to go back here and tell the self-service portal where those templates are. I can select my VMM server here and the share here and then search for templates. And now it sees those two templates and I have the option now to bring both those in. In other words, I don't have to bring in all of the templates that I've um, got sitting behind the scenes in VMM for maybe more specialized tasks that we wouldn't want to have users provisioning self-service virtual machines against. So I'll add selected and save and close. Virtual Machine Actions allows you to do things to virtual machines. And these are all stored in an XML file. And you get the idea here. They can create VM tasks, deploy the VM, delete the VM, start the VM, resume the VM, stop the VM, and so on. You can add your own tasks in, and maybe you'd want to use a separate XML script and use this one as a blueprint. Essentially, that XML script is just a list of PowerShell commands, because we're using the PowerShell modules that come with System Center Virtual Machine Manager to do all of this. And that's actually why the install is so small. So I'll cancel editing there and go back to my settings. I can configure global settings here. And this is more about how the portal itself works, how long it's going to ping um, machines, how long it's going to take to time out when scripts are running, and so on and so forth. And I'm pretty happy with the defaults, so I'm going to leave all of that. That's all I need to do to configure the self-service portal before I can start interacting with the business users. And that's what I'll be doing in my next video. I've been Andrew Fryer. Thank you very much for listening.